Lesson 15. Impact of the French Revolution. The revolution impact on peasants. How did life change for peasants because of the French Revolution? The French Revolution brought about significant changes to the peasants in France. Abolition of feudal obligations. One of the most significant changes brought about by the revolution was the abolition of feudal obligations. Peasants were no longer required to provide unpaid labour or give a portion of their harvest to the landowner. This meant that peasants gained more control over their land and resources. Land redistribution. The revolution also led to the redistribution of land. Many estates owned by the nobility and the church were confiscated and sold off, often at lower prices to peasants and other individuals. This allowed peasants to acquire land and become independent landowners. Legal equality. The revolution introduced the principle of legal equality, which meant that all citizens were supposed to be treated equally under the law. This meant that peasants were no longer subjected to the special privileges and exemptions enjoyed by the nobility and the clergy. Access to education. The revolution also brought about increased access to education for peasants. The revolutionary government established a system of public education which aimed to provide basic education to all citizens, including peasants. This allowed peasants to gain literacy and acquire knowledge and skills that could improve their lives. Political participation. The revolution also opened up opportunities for political participation for peasants. The revolutionaries emphasised the idea of popular sovereignty, which meant that political power could be vested in people. Peasants were able to participate in political activities such as voting in elections and serving in local government positions. Economic changes. The revolution brought about economic changes that have both positive and negative effects on peasants. On the positive side, the revolution introduced policies aimed at promoting economic growth and improving living conditions for the peasants. For example, the revolutionaries implemented measures to improve agricultural productivity and introduced policies to protect small-scale farmers. However, the revolution also brought about economic instability and uncertainty, which had negative consequences for peasants, especially during periods of economic crisis. It's important to note that the changes brought about by the revolution were not uniform across the country and the extent to which the peasants benefited from the changes varied. Additionally, the revolution also brought about a period of political instability and violence which had both positive and negative consequences for the peasants. Revolution impact on the first estate. The first estate, which consisted of the clergy, was profoundly impacted by the French Revolution. Loss of privileges. The clergy, particularly the higher ranking members, enjoyed numerous privileges and exemptions from taxes and other obligations. However, the revolution aimed to abolish the feudal system and establish equality among citizens. As a result, the clergy lost their privileged status and were subjected to the same laws and taxes as the rest of the population nationalisation of church property. In 1789, the National Assembly passed the civil constitution of the clergy, which aimed to bring the Catholic Church under state control. As part of the process, church lands and property were confiscated and nationalised. This had a significant impact on the wealth and power of the clergy, as they lost control over the vast amounts of their property. Secularisation the revolution promoted secularism and sought to diminish the influence of the Catholic Church. The civil constitution of the clergy required clergy members to take an oath of loyalty to the state, which caused a split between the clergy. Those who refused to take the oath, known as the refractory clergy, faced persecution and were often forced into hiding or exile. Decline in influence 
The revolution led to a decline in the influence of the authority of the Catholic Church in France. The state took over many of the church's traditional roles and functions, such as education and the registration of births and marriages and deaths. The revolutionary government also implemented policies that aimed to secularise society and diminish the role of the religion. Resistance and persecution The revolutionary government faced resistance from some members of the clergy who opposed the changes and the secularisation of the church. This led to the persecution, imprisonment, exile or execution of clergy members who were seen as counter-revolutionary or loyal to the old regime. Revolutionary impact on the second estate The second estate, which consisted of the nobility, was significantly impacted by the French Revolution. Loss of privileges The nobility also enjoyed numerous privileges and exemptions from taxes and other obligations. However, because of the abolished feudal system and the establishment of equality among citizens, they lost their privileged status and were subjected to the same laws and taxes as the rest of the population. Abolition of feudalism One of the major goals of the revolution was to abolish feudalism and the system of noble privileges. In August 1789, the National Assembly passed the decree abolishing feudalism, which abolished feudal dues, serfdom and other feudal obligations. This had a significant impact on the power and wealth of the nobility. Confiscation of noble lands. During the revolution, many noble lands and estates were confiscated and nationalised. The revolutionary government sought to redistribute land and break up large estates to promote equality and provide land for the landless. This led to a significant loss of wealth and property for the nobility. Emigration and exile. Many members of the nobility, particularly those who opposed the revolution or feared for their safety, chose to emigrate or go into exile. They fled to other countries such as Britain, Austria or Russia where they sought support and plotted against the revolutionary government. Those who remained in France faced increasing persecution and the threat of imprisonment or execution. Loss of titles and privileges The revolution aimed to establish a more egalitarian society and part of this process, noble titles and privileges were abolished. The use of titles such as duke or count were prohibited and the nobility were no longer recognised as a distinct social class. This marked a significant shift in the social and political landscape of France. Resistance and persecution. The revolutionary government faced resistance from some members of the nobility and opposed the changes and sought to restore the old regime. This led to persecution and imprisonment, exile or execution of nobles who were seen as counter-revolutionary or loyal to the monarchy.